Okay, so we have the Fleer I3. Let's open it up. So the Fleer I3 comes in a hard carrying case, hard plastic carrying case. Nice hard latches here. Inside, you'll see that it's lined with nice foam, compressed uh, styrofoam. Before I get into the camera, I'll show you some of the accessories that it comes with. The power adapter. Now inside, you'll find adapters for different regions. North America is in there, of course. Over here, you'll see the calibration certificate. Register now document list of contents, getting started guide, important information, quick report, uh, quick report uh, software, and the user documentation on a CD um, for the camera. Um, here is the USB cable. And a really nice surprise is the lock, which you can actually use to lock the case. So right here on the latch, uh, beside the latch here, on both sides, there are two holes, I don't know if you can see it there. Um, just, uh, yeah, slide the lock right in there, lock it up, and you're good to go. Over here, you'll see that it has a wrist strap, the memory card. Now, memory card, actually, uh, this thing actually has three different types, or actually it's not three different types, but it's compatible with three different types. Um, the memory card itself is right here. It's the micro SD, it's a two gigabyte card. Um, the camera itself uses uh, this size, which is a mini SD, so there's an adapter for it. And then if you have a memory card reader um, or any other digital camera, this is what you'll find that plugs into that. So I'm going to open it up here, pull out the actual storage uh, in the memory card, uh, the micro SD, and take out the micro SD. And show you how it goes together. So this simply just goes in, slides in the slot, and you're good to go. And now I'm going to take the camera and show you the nice Fleur i3. So when you get the i3 and you open it up, the lens is actually not going to be exposed. To expose it, um, simply just push up on this latch underneath, and there you go. So now you can see the Fleur i3 lens, Fleur Systems logo, <clears throat> both sides. You have the nice LCD controls. This is where the battery is stored. The button here, which you use to take photos, and the rubber latch on the side here. Um, that's where your memory card goes, and I'll let you put that in there now. So just push it in until it clicks and it stays. You have the AC plug in there to charge the battery and USB connection there. So if you don't have a memory card reader, um, you can take images directly from the camera by plugging in uh, the USB cable and then the other end to the computer. All right, so uh, with the memory card installed, let's start up the camera. Now I've started this thing before, so it's gonna start really fast. Uh, what I'll do really quickly, quickly here is uh, just restore it so that you can see what it looks like when you open it up for the first time from factory. And here we go. So you have the nice welcome screen from FLIR. It's going to go ahead, you'll see a dark screen, uh, green screen, gradient, and you can already see now that with the hourglass, you start seeing a thermal image there. Pinkish orange tone. Okay. How you doing, Grant? Uh, first thing you're going to notice is that it's going to prompt you, ask you for a language. On the top left hand here we have the OK. So I'm going to press that button there. Next thing it's going to ask you is uh, set the time zone. I don't want to do that right now, I'm going to press cancel. It's going to calibrate and there you go. So the camera's started, ready to go. Top right hand here, I know you can't really see it, but because there is that protective film that I don't want to take off. Uh, top right hand corner you can see the FLIR logo. And the top left is your measurement. Um, here is your measurement scale, so based on whatever we're seeing. Menu right here, which you can access using the top left button here. Three main menus, uh, we have the color palette, 
Uh, you can change it to gray, iron, or rainbow. I'm gonna press back here, or left arrow button. Measurement object, you have matte, semi-matte, semi-glossy, glossy. If you go here to advanced, um, you can see this option for emissivity. You can change it to type of material. Um, right now it's set to asphalt, reflected temperature. Click back, back. Go to settings where you'll have auto shutdown. Uh, you can, by default, it's set to shut down automatically after 20 minutes. You can set it to five, or you can have it so it doesn't automatically shut down on you. Display intensity. Uh, low, medium, high, uh, language, you can time format, set time, frame rate, or uh, firmware, sorry, and you can restore it uh, to factory settings like I did before. And if you do do that accidentally, um, and you do have a memory card in there, don't worry about it because restoring to factory settings is not going to affect the memory or the images stored on your memory card. Uh, so I'm just going to close the menu. So with that, let's go take some photos.